So first things first, we're going to need a few programs if you don't have them already. First one is assembly. Download link is in the description below. Next one is Crumb. Download link for this is also in the des description below. This is the tool that's used to extract bitmaps um, and then re-inject bitmaps into map files. So, first thing you're going to want to do is uh, load up the map that you want to use. So, take your time and navigate to your Steam Apps folder, Master Chief Collection, and then, as to my knowledge, this will only work for Halo 3. I don't know if it'll work for Halo 3 ODST. It should theoretically, but I don't know. Go into your maps, and then find the map you want to use. In our case, we're going to be using shrine.map. So you can take that, drag and drop it into assembly. So coming over to assembly here, we're going to go into our tags. We're going to find the bitmap of the vehicle that we want to edit. So in our case, it's going to be the Warthog. So we can look up Warthog, then we're going to come underneath the Warthog tag, and we're going to be using this base Warthog bitmap. So objects, vehicles, Warthog, um, right here. And so there's two values, or sorry, one value that, that we need from here. And that is this right down here. Um, the zone asset datum, <clears throat> and then we're looking at the index number. So another thing to note as well, to my knowledge, Crumb can only works uh, will only work with DXT5 textures. Um, so if this is any other value, um, it's it's probably not going to work. So uh, I would copy this uh, to your keyboard or just make note of this number. This number will change based on the vehicle you're using. Next, open up Crumb. Uh, so you can use your arrow keys to navigate. Uh, so arrow key, enter, so to extract. So now we're going to take our shrine map file and I'm actually just going to move this into our folder that we put on our desktop for simplicity purposes. We'll copy that over, open up our folder, and we're going to want to copy this path. This path will obviously be different, but you can click and control C there. We'll hop back into Chrome. So enter path to map file. We can right click to paste. And for some reason it didn't do it there. There we go. We can right click to paste. Um, and then we're going to want to add a backslash and then shrine.map so that we're referencing our map file here. Then you hit enter. Now, here it's asking for the zone index. So this zone index is the value we looked at earlier for the Warthog. So if I recall correctly, it was a 660. Then we'll hit enter. Now, if you made a mistake, um, Crumb will crash. It'll just close. Um, so if your program closes when you hit enter, it means you had a typo or you did something wrong. So that'll extract to where our map folder was. And this is why I had you create this folder on the desktop, help keep it sort of clean. So now we have this DDS image. So next thing, we're going to want to open up our browser and go to a website called photop.com. Or maybe it's .org or something. There we go. So here we are in photop, uh, just in Firefox here. So you can take your um, extracted DDS image and drag and drop it into here. So you can see this one is already edited um, from the from the intro, but we're going to edit it a little bit further or switch up some of the edits. So next thing, if you wanted to add images, obviously you could just go onto Google, download them, you know, whatever. So, um, so we're going to change this up a little bit just with some images that I downloaded. Um, so sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to tell where things are. Um, there are some other guides you can use uh, and ways to figure this out, but I'm not going to be covering that in this tutorial. So basically, you can just drag and drop sort of wherever, and your results will vary, obviously. So I try to fit the image to match the geometry, um, and then it'll help it be a little bit better um, in-game. It'll just look a little bit cleaner if edges aren't clipping. Take our troll face, and I don't know, we can we can slap it, uh, you know what, we're going to slap it on the windshield, we will replace Craig with, uh, with 
with our troll face here. There we go. So that's pretty good. Next thing, go up to File in the top left. Then we'll go to Export As, More, and then DDS is the file type you want. Hit Save. And then that'll go into your Downloads folder or wherever, um, wherever you have that saved. So, where are we here? We will hop back to... Our desktop Halo 3 texture edits. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just delete the extracted um, bitmap uh, DDS file we got earlier. And replace it with the new one here. So now I'm going to open up Chrome again. And so now, we'll use our arrow keys again, we'll, we're going to go to Inject. We're going to enter uh, the path to the map file. So we move the map file into here, so we can Control c come into Chrome and right-click, that'll paste it for us. And then backslash shrine.map. Always make sure you have your file extensions on the end of your file names. Uh, so 660 was our index number. And so now we enter the, uh, the, the, the texture. So again, we'll take our file path, right click, it'll paste it in there. Then we're gonna do backslash, and then we're gonna type in um, this value here. You can also copy and paste it. There we go, so extracted. And then remember to add your .dds. If you don't, Chrome will crash, um, you know. So we can hit enter. Chrome didn't crash, which is good. It says texture has been injected, and so that will inject into the shrine underscore new dot map. So what we can do then, uh, for simplicity, I'm just going to delete that old file. You don't need to. And then obviously rename this to be shrine dot map. And then you can take this shrine dot map and throw it directly into your Halo 3 maps folder. <coughs> So from here, you can just drag and drop. I'm going to replace this. And there we go. Now we can launch Halo 3, go into game, and we can check out our new texture. All right, so here we are in Halo MCC. We're gonna go create, forge. Obviously you can do this in customs, whatever, uh, or with maps that already have vehicles. So our shrine.map was sand trap, in case you didn't know. And so we'll go ahead and launch this. So obviously this works with uh, other vehicles, player models, um, weapons, you name it, you can do it. Perfect. So now we'll take a look at our Warthog. And so now you can see we have our troll face on the windshield. Um, you can see our uh, epic faces in the, in, in the back here underneath the turret and also uh, by the floor mats there. Um, or where the floor mats would be. Also on the rims, and you can kind of see it elsewhere as well. Well, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed the tutorial or have any suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below, and I will reply to them or at least acknowledge them in some shape, way, or form. Um, that's it, that's all. Thanks for watching.